your bike hard to start? Maybe it's time to check those valves. First step, take everything off and get to that valve cover. Okay, next, take off the cover. Bam. What you want to do is look at your corresponding markings and look in your manual to see where those markings need to line up for it to be top dead center. On a 2019 Honda, these two markings, this one and this one, need to line up with the case where the cam journal halves meet. What I do is I put the bike in gear, grab the tire, and bump it like so. You can see that one's lining up. Okay, and to make sure, once you get those ones lined up, we'll go to the other side of the motorcycle. Right here is a corresponding mark we have to check. At this point, I can't stress enough how important it is to measure your valves when the bike is at top dead center. You won't get accurate readings and you will put the wrong shims in there and your bike won't run and it'll start even worse. Now for this part, make sure and consult with your manual once again. That's the intake, here is the exhaust. And just like they show, you wanna measure in between the rocker and the cam. Okay, this one is just about right. I can put the 5,000 feeler gauge in there and move it around where it's snug, but it still can move. Now, this one's a little tighter. So what we're gonna do, if it's too tight, we're gonna go with a smaller feeler gauge. Now the book says we can go plus or minus 1,000. If this one doesn't fit, we need to re-shim. Okay, it does not fit, so we need to re-shim this. I'm gonna go two and a half thousandths. That one fits. I have the feeler gauge in that same spot, and I can move it. Where before, I couldn't put any feeler gauges in there. So that's what we're gonna record as this one's measurement. All right, let's get the exhaust valves. I have the recommended size, 11 thousandths. Good, good. There's three measurements that you're gonna to wanna to write down. First, the recommended clearance, the clearance that you got, and then you wanna put the shim size. Now we're gonna go ahead and take off the cam holder, and we're gonna to get to those shims and find out what size and write it down. Before you pull the cam holder off, you wanna make sure and loosen the cam chain tensioner. My motto is life is too short, use power tools, and as many reducers as you can. Just kidding, all the rest of my stuff's broken. This is all I can find. Okay. Okay. Make sure you don't lose those. By the way, we're just gonna flip this arm up and we wanna get this shim right there. And we're gonna measure it. Using a magnet is probably Once you get it out, give it an old measure. Record your measurement. A lot of times it's a lot easier to find the right one in millimeters especially when you go to order them. Once you've got your measurements, go to this website. I will put a link in the comments. First, you're gonna put your specified valve clearance, and here it's in millimeters to go with the calculator. If you don't have it in millimeters and only have it in inches, you go to this converter, and we have to put in our current valve clearance that we measured, which is two and a half thousandths. We're gonna convert it to millimeters. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take that measurement, and copy it, then we're gonna paste it. And make sure that you have your decimal, which was my mistake. And here we want our current shim thickness, what we measured the shim that we pulled out. I looked and I saw what's going on and I need to fix where the decimal place is at. So I go ahead and fix that. And then out pops the recommended shim thickness that you need to have your Recommended shim clearance. Okay, now that we've calculated the right size, you need one of these, or you can go online and you can order the size you need. The only problem with that is sometimes these measurements are a little bit off, and that might make all the difference. Our measurements called for this. Let's just go 1.85 millimeter. Come in here, you see all our measurements. This guy right here, I use that one a lot, that's why it's gone. Remember the book, it says you can go a plus or minus one where it was too tight 
we'll go with a plus one for a little bit on the loose side. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in. Hey, all we have to do is put this back in, make sure we're at top dead center and the timing is correct. Throw it back together and fire it up. Let's see. If you do everything right and that was the correct problem, then you should end up with something like this. And remember, life's too short, use power tools.